Hey guys and welcome to episode 2 of Sir Aegis um, Space Station Mission or should I say project So yes, um, I have created a logo and everything for Kerbal Space Program And like I promised you guys I'm now doing I'm showing you guys the docking of the second uh, I literally forgot what this was again I like was so focused on dealing with it I forgot right the refinery so this is the second docking the second refinery docking to the Aegis space station yes that's the name of it is not space station core anymore core anymore is known as Aegis space station which is my name on the space station <laughs> yeah so I just came up with a name last night and it's pretty awesome how we did it though and, in, and the flag was all created by me and everything. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so there we have our successful docking. And now we're gonna head straight into the next part of all of this. So I got a little surprise for you guys. Today, the space shuttle has retired and we're now going to be using a new type of shuttle. Uh, one that has been advertised um, for a while and funny right i didn't know anything about this shuttle until this morning i got up this morning went on youtube and saw a recommendation about this shuttle right here the dreamcaster and i'm here like wow so there's another shuttle despite there's another shuttle besides the uh space shuttle of uh the old space shuttle that nasa retired so yeah i found it uh rent and see if there's any mods of it on Kerbal Space Program and there was so this is what we're going to be using from now on guys we're going to be using this dreamer shuttle in order to uh, get our payload and everything to the space station now so you guys will see how I'm using this because the cargo bay is small so I can't really put anything in there because in real life this shuttle is only to transfer like um pressurize um pressurize cargo so that's basically what it's doing in real life so in this um i gotta add kerbal attachment system but um what i'm gonna be using this for the docking port at the back of this space shuttle i'm gonna be attaching the uh with these all the rest of the parts of the solar panel of this space station at the back of this um space shuttle to um get it there so i'm gonna put it in a parking orbit of 100 kilometers or uh 180 kilometers above the kerbo above kerbin um, that's where the space shuttle is going to be going so we're on going to the launch pad right now and the space shuttle will be sitting in a parking orbit of 180 kilometers um in orbit and then once it's in its parking orbit i'm going to be launching this set the next piece of the space station to dock with the um, space shuttle and then a, the space shuttle will transfer that piece of the space station to the space station itself so that's how everything is working right now made it more exciting instead of having like just the payload in the space shuttle itself and then just rendezvousing with it with the space station and then just docking it so there's two separate types of docking now docking to the space shuttle and docking to the space station then undocking and landing so you guys will actually be amazed of the outcome that is going to happen in today's episode because last episode you guys saw the shuttle fail the shuttle that i made didn't have that much aerodynamic control so the whole thing just knived, nose dived straight into the ocean killing every kerbal inside <sighs> I'm still yawning sorry so we have about Jebediah, Bill, Bob and Valentina Kerman Kerman, Kerman back inside the uh, mission again they're not missing, missing in action 
So we're good. We're good. We finally have those Kerbals back. And I'm sorry for killing them because I know a lot of people love Jebediah. So I'm sorry for killing Jebediah, guys. I'm sorry for killing him in the last episode. <laughs> I did not mean to kill him. It's just I could not control that thing whatsoever. So just rewatching that just made me laugh. And I'm just like, wow. Okay, so we just we just recently just um separated from the uh, first this first stage main stage of the rocket, the Atlas V, and now we're on to the second stage that is carrying this Dreamer shuttle to its parking orbit. Now, if you guys are looking at the uh, parking orbit that I have on MetJab, it is 90 kilometers, but I had to redo a few things like the docking port that I put on while I was building this was not um, the right docking port. This docking, that docking, docking port just doesn't work. So I had to switch it and I had to then change the parking orbit of the space shuttle. So. And I would say this thing flies like a dream. <laughs> it's literally known as Dreamer Shuttle and it flies like a dream. Like, no kidding. So I actually am glad that I found an actual working shuttle where I can land it safely and reuse it multiple times. And like I said in the old video, I don't know how long I'm going to be using the shuttle method for. I just want to make things interesting at the beginning instead of just ra launching a rocket all the time and then docking. I just want to use the shuttle to have more experience and more fun. So I'm c like every episode I might add a few new mods. So the new mods that I definitely added was definitely the uh, the mod that I added was sorry about that. The mod that I added. It was definitely the mod for the space shuttle and the other mod that I add was the other two mods I add was Spitfire was um, fire spitter fire spitter and um, Kerbo joint reinforcement so those are the mods that I added and we have the parking orbit of 180 kilometers and now we're back into the VAB um, the VAB or yeah the, yeah the VAB to um, blah, 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 build the rea blah, blah, radiator right sorry I can't speak I'm forgetting what these things are so I'm building the radiator and in this video I'm gonna be showing both docking the docking of both radiators to the space station and the next episode is going to be the two solar panels and it after the two solar panels it's going to be other experiments because i'm going to have um a bit more mods like one or two more mods uh, i don't know if kerbal life support works in um create in sandbox mode i don't know if it works in there or not but if uh life support works in uh, sandbox then that's good for me so there's a docking port that I use for the dream the dreamer shuttle the one that I said I wasn't working I was playing around with that to find out which one was up what where was where will point prograde or where will point retrograde so I just attached it but I had to still redesign the whole um, reactor part by taking that um, uh, docking port off and replacing it with another one so that's what I did and now we're adding the uh, radiators here to you know get off that extra radiation that this space station is going to be having and we're going to be all good. So yeah honestly I am really glad of how everything is turning out right now. Um, I'm going to be like posting two videos per um, every like two every other day. So this video should be up around Monday and the other two videos will be up around um, Wednesday so hopefully you guys will see how everything goes not Wednesday sorry uh, so how here's my upload schedule because I'm gonna be busy a lot and recording this stuff is taking time and a lot of hours plus I have other stuff to do so 
<clears throat> the recording and uploading air um, dates schedule is um, these episode one and two which this is right now are going to be up today so you guys can watch episode one and two on the same day and um, episode three and four are going to be uploaded on Thursday because I need I might need um, um, Tuesday and Wednesday to record every video the the two videos and then they will be uploaded on Thursday so then Friday and Saturday I will um, Friday and Saturday I will take a break Sunday definitely a break so a three-day break and then is back to recording again but I'll still have the videos prepared for you guys so you guys can continue to watch them or I might just decrease the breaks in between by one day so instead of skipping out Wednesday I would upload the video on Wednesday skip out Tuesday and upload on Wednesday skip out Thursday upload on Friday and skip out um, Saturday and Sunday so I can upload on Monday and the whole schedule will continue like that so let me guys let me know in the comment section how that schedule sounds to you guys and yeah so right now we have finished built the radiator for the space station the Aegis space station so now we are now I'm putting on the parts of the rocket so this is going to be a heavy rocket that I'm going to be building here um, the upper stage the second stage is going to be used to push this thing up into its higher highest um, no not its highest orbit the uh, main stage the central um, engine would be using will be boosting it up to its max orbit which would um, I think it's uh since the shuttle is 180 kilometers i think i put this at 85 kilometers yeah i put this at 85 i put this at a parking orbit at 85 kilometers so that's where the central engine will do it will push that up to 100 it will push that up to 85 kilometers in orbit and circleize the orbit then the second stage will be used to rendezvous with the dreamer shuttle to dock with it and then everything else will continue from there so the way how i'm building this building this right now is that we have a long fuel tank at the bottom and we have two um boosters at the side so two uh booster tanks right there that i'm placing right now so it will give it extra more velocity and more speed to get it off of the um to escape Kerbal's um, Spear of Influence and everything would go well from there. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's basically how everything is supposed to go. I definitely added music this time. This time I got SpaceX music playing in the background for you guys because we gotta get some interesting music playing for you guys, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, that's how everything is going to go and that's how I plan on I plan on using the Dreamer shuttle for two more or three more episodes, and then we would then we would switch to something else because once this space shuttle, once this space station mit program is complete, there's hardly going to be any need for the space shuttle. So the space shuttle, I would just have it parked outside the VAB just for a little um showcase um when i uh when i whenever i want to look at it i just remember the missions that i did with it so yeah stuff like that so this and it's actually kind of sad though because the space shuttle i created only got one episode of sunshine and it just went and it just put it straight into retirement they got replaced by a way better model so it only got one day to shine one episode to shine that thing got so uh the space shuttle was only used twice the space shuttle that i created was only used twice it wasn't used again after that wait no it wasn't i mean it it wasn't used twice 
The space shuttle I created was used three times because then I had to launch the space station core, then the uh, refineries. So those are in orbit right now and we have liftoff of the heavy rocket um, I'm gonna help this call this the heavy Aegis yeah I'm gonna help name this the heavy Aeg Aegis um, and then are the Aegis heavy depends <laughs> can kind of taking the name from Falcon heavy but Aegis heavy sounds good so this rocket is known as the Aegis heavy and its payload is the reactor the reactor for the space station so the like i said the parking orbit for this is going to be 85 kilometers above kerbin and then it would rendezvous with the dreamer shuttle to dock there and the dreamer shuttle will be on its way to rendezvous with the space station so we just jettisoned the two boosters there they ran out of fuel and all they transferred all the last remaining fuel into the central main main engine so it can keep burning and get this thing into a decent parking orbit so yeah and I'm gonna try to cut down on the talking in the next two episodes because um, I'm like running out of stuff to say and all I'm basically doing is repeating myself and I really don't like to repeat myself so hopefully I will have some comments and stuff to talk about and just talk about life and talk about Kerbal Space Program okay so the rocket now is experiencing aerodynamics and it's getting heated up but thank god I have re-entry heat like down to a minimum because I know I'll be doing that a lot so thank god I have that down to a certain extent and we are almost the rocket is almost out of fuel before I jettison that decouple it and switch to the second stage that will be carrying the payload so as the rocket continues to burn it ran out of fuel and or did it no it didn't run out of fuel yet it's gonna run out of fuel very soon and when it runs out of fuel when I'm doing the maneuver when Met Jeb is doing the maneuver that's when I'm going to decouple and then the main then the engine for the second stage will fire I just realized I have my mic turned away Okay, we're burning, separation, and fired the stage one engine. And then we're gonna deploy the fairing. Oh wait, I don't think the fairing I don't think I deployed the fairing in this part. Nah, I didn't deploy it. Okay, so we are not deploying the fairing until we get close to the space shuttle apparently. Or when this um rendezvous orbit is complete. So we're going to skip the rendezvous orbit and it will catch you guys at the space station. I mean, wow, not the space station, the space shuttle. Okay, so it has, so the radiator has made it to the space shuttle. Just see it there floating in space, getting ready to dock. So I'm slowing down to match its velocity and then we're going to um, start to dock. I met Jeb. Met Jeb's auto docking is the best. It just it just saves you some time and it takes off all the stress because you don't really have to take control of anything. Because Met Jeb will do absolutely everything for you. Okay, now the reason why that I switched from the uh, Dreamer um, decoupler, the Dreamer docking port to the regular ones is because apparently when you have those on. It puts the um, docking port to dock from a side, not actually in line with it. So it, that just screwed it over. So that's why I had to switch the docking ports on both of them. So I had to redo this mission like three to four, three times in a row, and that was annoying. Okay, so it has successfully docked with the space shuttle, the Dreamer shuttle, shuttle. So um, now I was looking to see if I could transfer any modern propellant that I might have wasted, but I didn't waste any. So then we 
undocked from decoupled from the uh first stage of the um aegis heavy and then we use the rcs thrusters to move away from it and then we then the dreamer shuttle will be um preparing its maneuver to rendezvous with the aegis space station Okay, so the Dreamer shuttle is now getting ready to is now getting ready to start its maneuver burn and it started the maneuver burn and now we are on a rendezvous with the Aegis space station. So now we gotta slow it down to match the velocity of the Aegis space station. And that's what this maneuver is for. So it's time warping until we get to its closest approach to um, match its velocity. And it's going to do the burn right now. And the Dreamer shuttle has successfully matched its velocity and now it's going to be creating a maneuver node now i'm going to be creating a maneuver node to get closer to it then i'm going to slow down my velocity again and then we will be on to the docking phase of this whole mission Right, that's the closest approach now we're slowing down our velocity here now and the velocity burn is finished so now the space shuttle would switch its control mode from the capsule itself from the shuttle itself to the docking port at the back of the radiator and now it's going to be docking with the Aegis space station have a successful docking of the first reactor on the Aegis space station. So now we're going to be heading into the um, undocking of this Dream Shuttle and the re-entry of the Dream Shuttle. So the Dream Shuttle has successfully undocked from the Aegis space space station 
using its RCS thrusters to move away from it until it goes for a retrograde burn. And now it's doing its retrograde burn. It's gonna start its retrograde burn in a while, sorry. It's going to try to line up with the uh, line up the periapsis with the the apoapsis, I mean, to the um, uh, it's going to try to line up the periapsis with the inch with the Kerbal Space Program Space Center Kerbal Space Center. So that's what it, I was trying to do. It almost worked, but we will see how it goes. It didn't line up. It didn't line up with the um, Kerbal with the Space Center, but I still got a good enough uh, deorbit line for it so now it has completed its retrograde burn and now it's heading in for its re-entry Is now in its re-entry re re phase right now seeing all the heat from the atmosphere burning off of it RCS thrusters are trying to keep the nose up so we can slow down all that velocity so we can get a nice little gliding um, space shuttle and a good landing Okay, so the space shuttle, the Dreamer, the Dreamer shuttle is now on a gliding course. It's using its engines, two engines, to increase its velocity to keep it from nose diving into the ocean because it was dropping a little bit there, and the orbit, the um, incline inclination, wasn't that good. It was like dipping down into the ocean. And we don't want to repeat of what happened before with our uh, our custom-made space shuttle, right? <laughs> we don't want that happening. So the space shuttle, the Dreamer shuttle, was freaking out there, losing control. So we're gonna have a successful landing, and after that successful landing, is going to be the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mission of the reactors um, docking with the Aegis Space Station, finally named it, like I said, and like I've been calling it this whole entire time. And the end of the video, guys, I'm not gonna be commentating. It's just gonna be the docking of the second reactor, so there won't be any commentary for that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for some more Kerbal Space Program videos, and I will catch you guys in the next, in the next episode. So enjoy the rest of the landing phase.